journey began when he was six years old, when uh, we sent him out to McMillan Park to learn how to skate. to the floor, gave him a chance during tryouts to make the team, and hey, an improbable dream uh, that came true in 2009. I had no idea that Kaylee would one day end up uh, as a member of the Fort Wayne Comics. wake up in the morning to try to drink lots of water so as soon as I wake up I'll take like a daily vitamin and I'll usually drink two glasses of water before I head to the rink so I've got my mom and uh, my sister all in the same neighborhood which is cool and this is the same neighborhood I, I grew up in as a, as a kid so um, I love it here in Fort Wayne and I'm uh, very lucky to have a house in the same neighborhood where I grew up and what I'm used to now it's you know, my sister brings her kids to, the, to every home game. I see them in the stands at every game, and I just know I have a good support group, and it, it makes it easier for me to go out and play and have fun with it. So, yeah, this is a Coliseum. Uh, it's funny, it smells the same way it used to when I, I used to come to games as a kid. Uh, nothing's really uh, changed about it, which is remarkable. After pregame skate, usually one of the teammates and I will head to Casa, get the same thing every time, the Paolo Romano and uh, Calamare. Just had a good meal, now we're going to head out and uh, <laughs> gonna get a big that. nap in. Put on my suit, put on uh, my championship ring. I still get a little nervous before every game, especially the, the home games, and especially this time of the year when really every game is an audition for your job. So. Try to warm up, uh, get my legs loose, play a little soccer um, before the game. Uh, we call it sewer ball. He's dead. <laughs> just, just a simple. Oh, my fault, man. Not even like, not even like, man. I'll take that one for you. After sewer ball, the coach will come in. He'll give us the pregame. Uh, the game plan. You know, it's just about being a good pro. You know, you got four days left together as a team, and uh, you know, be a good pro, guys. Good pros show up, they're prepared, they're ready to play, uh, they give it all they got, and they give the fans their money's worth. So make sure you're a good pro. All right, boys? All right. All right. From there, I'm putting on my equipment and we're, we're warming up. Here we go. Here we are. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. After warm ups, same thing another bottle of water, and the coach will come in and just go over the main points of the speech, and then I'm ready to play. At
Blackhawks, this guy. Blackhawks, huh? I'm a Blackhawks guy too. Oh, nice shirt. Thanks for the support. Oh, I like it. Right on the seven. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you for everything you've done for the community with the kids. We've been watching uh, Kavanaugh for a long uh, time. We're going to go to Applebee's here, a little pre-game, or post-game meal, I should say. Did you see that? See what? Huh? The thing that just fell from heaven. <laughs> yep. Good dinner, now we're going to head home and finally get some sleep and uh, put an end to the night. It's just, uh, you know, people don't understand that it's just more than just showing up uh, to the rink to play a game. Uh, and it, it is a job, and uh, even more so in the summer when the season ends. I think that's the biggest thing for me is if I'm not working hard, it's, uh, you know, I'm not effective on the ice. Where skilled players that, um, you know, they may not have to work as hard as I do because they can get away with some of their, some of their skill. And, uh, they may not have to take a hard stride all night as long as they can put the puck in the net or power play so for me it's really uh, making sure I work hard and making sure that my teammates see that my girlfriend likes to write quotes on the uh, on the whiteboard from now. today's is uh, don't change who you are because others cannot handle who they are pretty good huh <laughs>